I just want to say that uh, when we talk about health care, we have to talk also about women's reproductive rights. Uh, what happened in the last several, what, 36 hours or so uh, has been stunning. Uh, the Supreme Court making the decision that it did not only disrespected women, it disrespected the Supreme Court and its former decision, its precedent that it established as Roe v. Wade. When we go back to Washington, we will be putting Roe v. Wade codification on the floor of the House to make sure that women everywhere have access uh, to the reproductive health that they need. I say that as a mother of five children, and I um, respect everyone's decisions, their personal decisions, but that's why we have to give them uh, the ability to make those decisions. It is, um, it's, it's really kind of sad, but nonetheless, people know now what the challenge is. And many of the women who will be disadvantaged in this are women of color and poorer women and the rest. It's a, an injustice. That's not any disrespect of all women, but an injustice. So we want women everywhere, in Texas and everywhere, uh, to have the respect they deserve for their decisions about their own reproductive health. And again, much of what we can do, we can do better if we can pass H.R. 1, which is the, uh, the bill to uh, end voter suppression. And we've had your Texans in Washington welcome them time and again with great pride. And they're really leaders for the country and kept the, the momentum going on that. And we hope to pass that legislation as well. But that, again, it's an honor to be at... Uh, Communities Foundation Prosper Center to be with, uh, with Julian and to be with the mayor of the great city of Austin, Mayor Adler, and with the great member of Congress, a leader for our country, Lloyd Doggett. Thank you all very much. <laughs>